online classes of mathematics for class 9th in this video we are going to start the chapter number 3 which is the coordinate geometry of ncrt textbook and we'll try to cover the exercise 3.1 this is our session number 1 for this particular chapter myself deepak gautam tgt mathematics in kendri vidyalaya sangathan so let's start with the today's class the chapter number 3 Coordinate geometry is divided into total three subtopics, which are introduction, then Cartesian system, then third one is floating a point in the plane if the coordinates are given. Okay. In this first session, we'll try to cover the introduction part and the exercise 3.1. So let's start with the introduction part. First, we have let's look at the general definition of the coordinate geometry. Okay. It is a system of coordinates where the position of points on the plane is described as described using an ordered pair of number okay this means in coordinate geometry what we're gonna do is we'll locate the exact position or the location of any object or a point in the plane this using a pair ordered pair of number that is a system of coordinates where the position of points or you can say position of object on a plane is described using an ordered pair of numbers okay with the help of some numbers we'll locate the exact location of the position of any object or a point okay for example suppose uh, let's look at this first figure a we have this plane on that plane we have this red dot which is representing a point okay if you are to locate the position of this point on this plane what we're gonna do is we can ident uh, locate this position by drawing two perpendicular <coughs> length from the uh, edges of the that plane okay like here from this bottom side of this plane we have drawn a perpendicular distance and that distance is 9 centimeter okay and from the left hand side we have measured the distance of the point which is 5 centimeter okay according to this we can find that suppose this point is a then the position of a on this plane is first we will write the this perpendicular length this one 9 which is then then we write this horizontal distance which is 5 so the position of this point a on this plane is 9 5 okay with these two number you can exactly or accurately locate the position of a point on a plane that is this is 9 that means this is a 9 centimeter away from the bottom side and 5 centimeter away from the left hand side okay so this is the position of this point from on the plane let's look at another example suppose this is a setup of a class okay in which they are on this side we have rows and on the bottom side we have columns this class in total have seven rows one two three four five six and seven and it has total ten columns okay now we have two person one is t which is the teacher's desk and second we have s which is the a student named sonia's desk okay this teacher is not the part of this setup that we have drawn on this classroom sitting okay but this student Sonia is the part of this system okay now we can locate the exact position of the uh, student Sonia so this this student Sonia is seated at first we'll write the column it sits say sitting in the one two three and fourth column so our position is fourth column and then we'll write the row so we see seated, seated in fourth column and first row okay so this is the exact position or the location of the student Sonia in the class which is 4 1 4 is the column and the 1 is the row she is, she is seated in the fourth column and first row okay suppose there is a student seated at this place let's say the name of the student is X this student X is seated at where is in it is in the fifth column and third row okay similarly you can find the location of the this student this one is let's say this is with y and this one is z now the y is seated at in eighth column and sixth row while z is seated in third column and sixth row so that's how we can locate the position or the location of any object or a person or a point on a plane okay moving ahead we have 
in this discussion above you observe that the position of ob any object lying in a plane can be represented with the help of two perpendicular lines okay we can represent them with two perpendicular like this here these are the two perpendicular this line is perpendicular on the bottom side and this one is perpendicular to the left hand side okay that's what it says that position position of any object lying on a plane can be represented with the help of two perpendicular line in case of dot in the first example we require distance of the dot from the bottom line and from the left edge of the paper we have measured its distance from the bottom line and the left edge in the case of setting plan of the classroom we require the number of column that and that of row this simple idea is far reaching consequences and has given rise to an important branch of mathematics which is known as coordinate geometry this location or the idea of the locating the point has result into a new branch of mathematics which is known as coordinate geometry okay in this chapter we aim to introduce some of the basic con concept of the coordinate geometry you will study more about these in the higher classes okay now in class 9 you have only the basics of this chapter but in class 10 and the and in the uh, 11 and 12 you will study more about and more deeply about this concept of coordinate geometry okay this study was initially de developed by a French philosopher and the mathematician named René Cartes. Descartes. Her, his name is René Descartes. He is a French philosopher and mathematician. On his name, we have uh, given this coordinate system name, which is the Cartesian system. For her, his name, this Cartes has been taken as and is it's known as. Cartesian system which is written here okay <clears throat> his name is given to the this uh, setup of the points on a plane okay this is which is known as a Cartesian system okay based on this we have this exercise 3.1 the exercise 3.1 have only two questions first question is how will you describe the position of a table lamp on your study table to another person okay suppose you have to are to describe the position of the table lamp on your study table to your to another person or you can say your uh, parent or your friend so suppose we have this lamp here okay so this is the answer of this question number one suppose we have this lamp here so we'll, what we're gonna do we'll measure its perpendicular distance from the bottom line in the left side so this lamp is at Suppose this length is 25 centimeter and this length is 15 centimeter. So its location is 25 centimeter from the bottom side and 15 centimeter from the left hand side. So this is the location of the lamp on the stud, uh, study table. Okay, this length can be worried. Uh, these are just indicative lengths. Okay, so in this, with this, the location of the lamp is 15 comma sorry 25 comma 15 okay which is the location of this lamp on the study table okay that means wherever that lamp is you will measure its two perpendicular distance first from the bottom side and then from the left hand side whatever the measurement is suppose this time is a six or the four so the location of the lamp will be six is to four okay so that's the solution of the question number one of exercise 3.1 moving ahead to the question number two we have street plan question is a city has two main roads so there are two main roads which cross each other at the center and the roads are crossing each other at the center of the city these two roads are along the north south direction and the east west direction these two roads are first one is in the north south direction second one is east west direction okay all the other street of the cities run parallel to these roads and are 200 meter apart okay these there are five streets in each direction using one centimeter equals to 200 meter draw a model of the city on on your notebook represent the road street by single lines okay there are many cross street in your model a particular cross street is made by two streets one running in the north and south and the direction and another in the 
east west direction each cross each street cross each cross street is referred to in a following manner okay if the second street running in the north south direction north south means this direction north south this is north and this is south so if the second street cross uh, running in the north south direction and the fifth street in east west direction east west means this direction this side we have east and this side we have west or when you overlap them you will get a figure like this this is north south east and west not this is west and this one is east okay okay on left hand side we have west and right hand side we have east okay it says uh, if second street running in the north south direction and the fifth street in the east west direction meet at some crossing then you will call this as cross street 25 okay so first you will name the north south which is second and then you will name the east west which is fifth street using the convention find how many cross street can be referred as 4 3 okay so we have first draw this general diagram this is our first uh, Romain road which is in the east west direction and second one is this second road which is in the north south direction okay east west and north south and there are five street which are one two three four and five which are written here street one street two street three street four and street five similarly in this direction so we have street one street two street three four and street five okay now we have to answer the two question this first one is how many cross street can be referred to as four comma three the fourth we take as first one in the north south direction north south direction the fourth street is this one okay then we have three three that will we take as in east west direction in east west direction the third is this one so the cross section is four is to three which is here so you just ask how many cross street can be referred as four to three so answer is only one okay there you write there is unique location of point for three on the street map okay similarly we have the second part it says how many cross street can be referred as 3 4 again the 3 4 means this 3 is for the third street in the northwest direction which is this one and fourth is the fourth street in the east west direction which is this one so their interaction intersection point is here so again we got only a one point so the answer for this one is again same just you will change this point as 3 4 rest is same you will land only one okay there is same the unique location of the point four three on the street map okay so that's the answer of the question number two exercise 3.1 so with this we have finished the exercise 3.1 and the introduction part of this chapter coordinate geometry okay this is a very small portion you i hope you have understood it how we can represent the location of any point on a plane okay now in the next class we will study about the cartesian system in the exercise 3.2 okay so that's all for today's class thanks for joining here thank you